one lap for good luck. Up the middle. And go. That sucks. What's up, what's up, guys? My name is Kane, and welcome to episode two of The Last Man Standing. Uh, as you can see in that first little clip, that was the follow-up to the uh, little bit of a cliffhanger I left you with in, with in episode one. Uh, as you can see, it didn't really turn out too well in my favor, but oh well. Those kind of things happen, and uh, there's actually plenty more Barra's runs in this episode, so uh, you can stay keen for that. Um, I'm going to do things a little bit differently this episode. Um, I'm going to have a lot of... Uh, clips that I've recorded and pictures that I've taken and I'm going to commentate over the top of them just to sort of give myself a different feel and give you guys a different feel and see how you like it compared to the first episode which had a lot of just live commentary so we'll jump into some clips now okay guys so basically this first little picture I have here is um, me banking after an abyssal demons trip this is quite a good trip but I figured I'd just show you guys the usual kind of loot that I get and some similar stuff to what I do get. I out a lot of this stuff to get my money and um, yeah Abbey Demons were basically my goal was to camp there to try and get um, a nice item such as a whip to uh, give me a decent attack, a decent weapon rather not attack. Um, unfortunately I haven't done it yet, I've killed about 700, 800 even maybe. Um, but they did drop a couple of clues so I figured I would do the clue scrolls if I could. And uh, just see what loot I could grab. Might give me some nice alcables for some items or something fun I could use on the series or something like that. So I figured I'd do all my clue scrolls and um, even do more than the 10 required for the challenge. Uh, I set the challenge on myself to do um, 10 of each different type of clue scroll. So easy, medium, hard, and elite. And um, Abyssal Demons drop hard clue scrolls. I think they can drop elites as well, but they drop hard clue scrolls. And um, yeah, so I figured I would just do them and uh, see what loot I could get. So it's basically just going to go through this clue scroll, and I think there's one more after it. And basically, uh, I didn't get anything too fancy, without any spoilers or anything like that. Um, but there was a couple of other clues that I did. I did uh, three or four easy clues, and uh, I think I think it was yeah. I think I think I did four easy clues and a couple of the hard clues, but they were done on live stream. And unfortunately, when I recorded them, for some reason, some of the stuff that I record when I'm live streaming ends up going corrupt somehow or something and uh it doesn't the quality of it is awful either it's either the quality is awful or the file just doesn't play for some reason um as you can see here i'm struggling to find the damn gnome coach but yeah so it's kind of a bummer that um that stuff messed up a bit but oh well that happens uh you guys have to take my word for it and trust me i guess um but hopefully you can see in my bank that there's no crazy rewards uh from those ones anyway easy clues aren't going to give me much to be honest you can see there, I got a gold trim dragon hide body, which is kind of fancy. Um, it's probably the best looking top I have at the moment. Um, but whatever, it's not worth anything to me on the series. Okay, now with some other options that, are, or not options, but ideas that I've had to spice the series up a bit, I am um, going to make a shop basically where I can buy things from myself. Now it's going to be up to you guys whether or not I can buy. Uh, my untradeable armor off myself, but I've decided that I'm going to be able to buy Chaotix off myself for 2 mil uh, GP, because I figured 2 mil is not the easiest to get, and it's just going to help bring this series along a whole lot quicker, so the episodes are a bit more fun, and I can get to my bossing a bit quicker, and stuff like that, so it'll help with little things like barrows, and, and all sorts, so uh, basically, um, you'll see at the end of this video something more to do with that, but um, yeah. I'm going to make a shop, but it's going to be up to you guys of what else I can buy. I'm also going to buy auras from myself for um, 500k each. I think that's a fair price, considering there's quite a few auras I can use that I have unlocked. But just to sort of go and unlock all of them in one here, I think is a little bit unfair. Um, so, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, a little bit unfair to just to go and get, you know, three or four or five auras from the shop and be able to use them all to help my bossing. So at least I'm going to have to make some kind of sacrifice and do some kind of gold making method. Uh, money making method rather to uh to get those but chaotix is one thing um here's me finishing that puzzle super quick and um chaotix are one thing uh but the ports armor is another big thing that i'm not sure if i want to use it at all but if you guys want me to i think i should then give a list of how much you think i should buy it from myself so to speak um it's kind of a it's kind of a weird thing you can see there i got some junk um it's kind of a weird sort of setup with how I would do that. Uh, I don't know what would be a good value, so it's, a lot of it's up to you guys. Uh, I don't really mind either way. Uh, you can see here I went and got some pouches 
to uh, aid my runecrafting efforts just to make a whole lot of air runes because I figured I'm going to need them. With legacy mode, I found that, especially in legacy mode at least, uh, you go through runes or arrows very, very quickly. Um, especially, I managed to get, uh, oh no, I won't say anything. Um, that was almost a spoiler that I dropped. Um, you manage just to go through them so, so quickly. I, I've just noticed that. I just, I don't even know what it is. I think it's just because in, in EOC, when you use abilities, you don't actually consume, like, runes or um, bolts or arrows or anything. So, um, that's kind of a big difference. And it's going to factor in a lot because I'm going to have to make a whole lot more runes, make a lot more, more arrows and all that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> it's going to be a bit of a problem and just make it a little bit more tedious and take a little bit longer. But that's fine. I'm all good with that. Um, you could see me before making some Batwing and then me just trying to get my hands on some of these Phoenix Feathers to make some super anti-fires because I feel like that's going to be pretty necessary uh, in the series. I don't think I'm going to be able to progress on too far without them, especially for QBD and KBD and Mithril Dragons and things like that. So it'll make a good uh, a good impact and getting those early is really going to help me. Um, in the next clip, you can see me just doing some other random things. I think it's, yeah, I'm just making some unicorns. Um, Getting a lot of the supplies is hard, and with live streaming, I don't really want to live stream the boring stuff. So I want to live stream a lot. I really enjoyed the couple of times that I've live streamed this series uh, recently. I haven't been getting you know huge crazy viewers or anything like that, but it's just been fun being able to you know play. And if someone comes in, they can ask about the series. They can ask a couple of questions, and people can people that are interested in the series can just see some you know current progress or up to date sort of um, what's going on and what I'm doing and, you know, almost give yourself a little bit of insight into the series before the next episode comes out. So it's kind of a cool thing to do and I've been really, really enjoying it. Uh, it's been a whole lot of fun. Now this here is me trying to kill uh, the Queen Black Dragon and um, you'll be able to see how I go. You'll see exactly how I end up. It's uh, it's pretty interesting, but I wasn't, I wasn't really hopeful I didn't have my hopes up about how I was going to do. I was very, very rusty going in. I've never killed QBD in Legacy before. And I haven't killed QBD in months beforehand in EOC or whatever. So, uh, very, very rusty going in. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. I um, I did it on live stream, which was which is kind of cool. Uh, people were bloody judging me because I sucked really bad at it. But it was fun. It was fun. I had fun doing it. And uh, I, I want to go back. But... Um, talking about the the buying of Chaotix and stuff earlier, I really think that's just going to allow me to get onto the tougher bosses earlier, which I think will, you know, produce better videos for you guys. Um, you'll see at the end of the video a little note, a little snippet, or a clip rather, I can't remember what I've put in there. Um, <laughs> I can, you can tell I'm really good at doing this, right? Um, you can see me here getting onto the third phase though. I was actually really impressed with how I did. I ran out of food though, but you can see I went down, I died. It happens, whatever. This picture here is the first drop that I've got on the series. I was at my Abyssal Demons, I was chilling, and I got the Dragon Spear drop. I was kind of worried about putting this and the Dragon Square Shield drop in the um, drop table that I need to, uh, to get for the series to be completed, um, but I did. And just quickly before this picture disappears, I went to Ganodermix and I snagged a couple of pairs of boots as well as some other goodies. So uh, that was very handy. Um, to finish off this episode, I'm just going to be showing some Barrow's trips. Um, I did a lot of these on live stream. Once I got the Dragon Spear, everyone was like, man, why don't you just go and try Barrow's with the Dragon Spear? Because I was hitting much better than with um, the, uh, the Dragon Scimitar. So it's quite nice. I think I'm going to be getting rid of this uh, lap for good luck business because it has not worked for me yet. Um, I know there's a, quite a few more Barrow's trips coming up, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, in, in the rest of this video, there's a few more trips that I do, um, doing melee was okay, I could get three trips, I could get three trips for right, but I didn't hit that consistently, so as you can see, I think this is the last chest of this run, and still no loot, still trying to buy for that first, you know, unique Barrow's item, but you can see me here at Abyssal Demons getting another rare drop table drop, the Vecna Skull. Now, I've never had this drop before in my life. I've never, ever received this as a drop. I, um, I'd seen what they'd done, and I'd seen people use them when, um, I think it was like mage boxing and stuff at the staking place back in the day. But I figured that I got it as a drop, I might as well go use it, and um, I tried to do uh, barrows with magic instead, which ended up being much better. Uh, worked out way more in my favor, I think, that way, because I could kill them much quicker. And uh, it was good. I did a lot of barrows on live streams. 
and unfortunately, spoiler alert guys, I did not get a single item, and I still haven't after this video. I've done quite a few Barrows runs after I put this video together, and I still haven't got a single item. I've done a total of 34 chests now without a drop, which is a real pain in the bottom, I can tell you that much. But, yeah. Anyway, um, that'll do for this post-commentary stuff. I'll get into a live commentary clip right at the end of this video. Alrighty guys, so you can see me standing here in the Dungeoneering area, if you take a quick look at my coin pouch you can see that I've got just over 2 mil in coins. Now basically to help this series along and help it progress a little bit more I worked out a sort of uh, formula to where I can buy Chaotix off of myself in theory. Um, usually it takes 200k tokens to uh, buy a Chaotix and I worked out a formula that just 10 GP is to 1 token so it cost me 2 mil, token, uh, 2 mil GP to, uh, to buy a Chaotix and instead of you know, actually getting a Chaotic from the store, because I can't buy it from here, I'm just going to buy it from my bank, and uh, be able to use the Chaotic Mole myself. That is the weapon that I've chosen, at least with my first 2 mil that I make. Um, so basically, you can see me here, I'm going to withdraw 2 million GP, and I'm going to drop it on the ground, leaving me with exactly 20k. I wish to drop it. Uh, leaving me with, if I examine this, 20k, 624 GP, leaving 2 mil behind. And I can't get it anymore, but it gives me this weapon. So hopefully that helps speed my series up a bit. Okay guys, that'll bring an end to this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed episode 2. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy it, or you do like any of the videos that I produce on this channel, then please hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. And if you want to hit that like button too, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, annotations on the screen, as you can see, for the previous video and the next one when that comes out. And until next time guys, peace out, take care. Bye.